Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome to my shop. Today I have a quick welding project. I'm making a Bridgeport head removal tool or a removal post. This thing allows you to remove the head from the machine via the quill. It's like a tool that you can chuck up. You can buy these. Here's one that H&W sells and for $50 it's a pretty good deal. The only reason I'm making my own is because I have terrible timing. I decided that I'm going to spend tomorrow disassembling my bridge port, so not enough time to order one and receive it. But it's all good because I'm happy to have a quick welding project to do every so often. So normally these posts are clamped to the bridge port's table, which allows you to use the Y axis to pull the head away from the mounting point. My situation is a little unique since I've already removed the table from my machine. So I'm going to add the functionality of being able to mount this post to my skid steer. I'm starting off by tacking two plates together so I can drill holes through them so these can be bolted together later. In the future, when the table is back on the machine, I can remove the skid steer adapter and bolt the post to the table and use it like a normal person. I drilled these holes to 5 16 so the bottom plate will be ready to be tapped for a 3 8 inch bolt. Once those holes are drilled, I can cut the tacks and I'll have a perfectly aligned hole pattern. I'll just clean up the tacked areas with the grinder and clean up the edges of the plates. While the grinder is in my hand, I'll also weld prep the gussets, which will reinforce the post. Now on to the post material. If you had a lathe, this post can be turned down for a single piece of stock. Since I don't have a lathe, I'll create the stepped post by sleeving two pieces of tube. The large diameter tube is cut to be a bit taller than the gussets. The smaller diameter tube is what the collet will grab. I cut this to length using the collet as reference, so when installed, the collet will bottom out against the shoulder. I'll drill some holes into the outer tube so I can plug weld the inner tube inside of it. And that's really about it for all the prep work, so now it's on to some assembly. I'll start by installing the post, tacking it to the plate, and using some squares to keep it perpendicular. Next, I'll work around tacking the four gussets to the plate and to the post. And now with everything tacked up, I can move on to the actual welding and get everything welded together. I'm doing three to four roughly two inch long welds on each gusset. Not really any need to go crazy and fully weld all the seams. The last thing to do is to install the inner tube. I'll clean it up a bit, drop it in, and weld through the holes I drilled in the outer tube. I somehow managed to remember not to block these holes with the gussets. <laughs> I'll run the collet on to make sure it looks right, and that is essentially a completed head removal post, but now it's on to the stuff for the skid steer mount. I'm using a piece of two inch tube, which will go into my skid steer's receiver attachment. I'll clean up the tube a bit and weld it to the bottom plate. Again, just a few stitches here, nothing too crazy. I'll also give the plates a little cleanup to remove the sharp edges. And then it's back to those four holes to tap them for bolts. I waited to do this until now because having the tube attached makes holding the plate much easier. 
Since my shop isn't really set up yet, I don't have a vise or a work table to effectively hold this plate. But with that tube under there, the plate is held off the floor and I can clamp it with my foot. You know, super fancy. The last thing for the hole pattern is enlarging the holes in the top plate to through holes. These are bumped up from 5 16 to a bit over 3 8 Okay, one last hole. <laughs> this is a half inch hole through the tube to pin it to the receiver. And now for the final assembly. The post thing is bolted to the lower plate and I'll throw the collet on there so I don't forget it tomorrow because I would totally do that. I can tighten up those bolts and I can install it into the receiver mount. And that completes a quick functional welding project. I like these. <laughs> and my next video will finish tearing the bridge board down and moving it out of my old shop, making use of this new tool. And sometime in the future, I'll be able to use the post mounted to the table to reinstall the head. So thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. And as always, happy working or whatever it is you like working.